Hey friends, it's Sandra. Welcome to the channel, Creatively Sandra. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me here. All right, I have a very special package from Jake over at Jake's Disney Afternoon channel. And he and his mother did a um, special box. Spe they're making special boxes um, that are all handmade items to go with a season. So the first one they did was in the October time frame, and it was Halloween themed and they had four different boxes that you chose from. Um, and then when I saw those, those were amazing. And then he announced that they were going to be doing it for the Christmas holiday. So I got on board with that. I want to tell you about it a little bit. So it's a Christmas decor box. So I'm going to read off of um, the flyer he had posted on Instagram. And each box would contain a wreath, a sign, an ornament, mistletoe, and ears. So that's awesome. And you chose from four themes. One was Winter Wonderland, and he had kind of a blue background with um, snowy trees and mountains. The uh, Santa's, winter, Santa's Workshop was bold, bright colors of childhood connecting us to traditions past that will remind you why the man in the red suit still sparks joy and wonder. That's the one I picked. Down on the farm was kind of buffalo plaid, rustic elements and holly, and ye old Christmas. Journey back to the jolly old England with colors of, of the Victorian era, like velvety reds and rich greens. So I've been dying to get into this box. I got it. Mm, I had to do some stuff, film some stuff before I went on vacation that would be due. So I didn't get to open this before I left, but um, I'm really excited to open it now. And we'll do some of the advent and the cards at the end of the video this time. So a little change up. So let me show you this box. Holy moly. I, it's big. So I had to clear some space on my desk and I did open it. It's, yeah, it's pretty much open. Um, it's big because it has a wreath in it at least. So yeah, there's a few things in here. And again, these are all handmade by, I apologize, Jake. I have now forgotten your mom's name, but they are working on it together. And as a crafter, I think that's the coolest thing ever. Um, I craft a lot with my sisters. My mother uh, passed recently, was much older, so we didn't get to do much of that, but family crafting, that's awesome. All right, so I'm waiting for some good um, young ladies to come into my life that will craft with me <laughs> and my granddaughter obviously future will okay so there's a card oh this is so cute it's mickey and minnie around a christmas tree and i love that it's just the the white background there and um i don't know kind of subtle and spectacular at the same time oh i'm gonna need glasses so it says wishing you Oh, wishing you happiness to share at Christmas and all throughout the year. Sandra, thank you for supporting our decor boxes. We hope the items inspire the childlike wonder of the holiday season. Merry Christmas, Jake and Karen. Karen is his mother's name. I am so sorry, Karen. But let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna hold up the box and show you. I can see several things at once. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go for, oh, that's part of the wreath. I don't even know how to do this. Oh wait, it's not, I don't think. I'm not sure. Okay, let's grab this item first. There is a little box here. Oh, there's a box, there's a bag. I've been pulling some stuff out. There's a little bag. Oh, look at that, with the Mickey head. Cute, cute. Oh, the Oh, there's even a hanger for the wreath. Okay, we're gonna start with the sign. Here is the first thing. Oh, this is so cute. It's a sign to show you where to go to the North Pole or the toy shop or the reindeer barn or the elf lodge. This is perfect. And I am like still a kid at heart when it comes to um, Christmas. I like the bright colors, traditional fun stuff. I like the, I have to have like colored lights on the tree and that kind of stuff. I put up colored lights outside, all of that. Um, 
it's not, my house is not the like, um, elegant Christmas decor. No, it's just fun and kiddish. And this is awesome. So great job on this sign. I love that. So they hand painted this. I think it is Karen who's doing this part. So that is one. Awesome. That's the sign. Wow. I really don't know how to do this. This is, oh, this is stuff that came out of the little box. So there is a box here. It opened up a little bit, but here it is with the sleigh on it. So cute. The sled carved out of there. And then the candy. This is so fun. This is, reminds me of, um, actually, they're little, anyway. It reminds me of the um, old-fashioned, like, ribbon candy there. I think some of it is. Yeah, it's kind of a mix. And then there is a bunch of these, oh, I loved these, little sixlets, little chocolate sixlets. So there's, this box is full of it. And then these tiny little candy canes that are so cute, the colors. This is what I love, the bright and cheery. Look at that, purple and green and pink, and that's fun. So awesome little snack there. These are also great. Like I mentioned, the grandchildren are coming and that's just enough for them. So that's the box. Let's open the little bag here. I'm thinking this is, well, I'm not sure. Oh, it is a bar of soap. So this is from Bu Bubbles and Barnes. So I think Jake had mentioned they were going to be trying to work with other small shops. And so this is Bubbles and Barnes cold pressed homemade soap. Hmm. It doesn't say what the scent is, but here's the business card, Bubbles and Barnes, and they have a website. They're based in New York, it looks like. Pompeii Center Farm is their Etsy shop. And Instagram is Bubble and Barnes. Let's open this and just see what it smells like. Mmm, it's like, it's a cinnamon, I think. It smells like gum. <laughs> but it's a, it's a refreshing cinnamon scent. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, and it's very fancy looking. I like that. I'm gonna have to get a little uh, tray. So this may have changed up a bit from what I read to you guys. So let's see the wreath. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Hmm. Look at the little presents and they have accents like, let's see if I can get this on camera, like the little cookie cutter here, like as if you decorated a real wrap present. We've got Santa Claus. Ooh, this is a whole tin like a ornament. So that's fun. We've got a sleigh. The ribbon is beautiful. Oh, look at the candy cane. I've got to turn this for a second because I am i didn't get a full view. And the red sleigh, red rocket sleigh. This is so fun. That's a beautiful wreath. I can't wait to go and hang it, which was also why I've been doing a lot of my Christmas decorating this week and also why I really needed to get to this box so I could get to the wreath and hang that up. Great job, Jake and Karen. I'm gonna set that down. Oh, and look at this, wow. This is the hanger um, for it. So they have added a, so you don't have some crappy little string hanging. You've got a um, bow of, I don't know, what's the right word? I'm setting that down so I can get to what else is in the box. So we got two more things. So I think the soap was extra. Or maybe it's instead of, oh no, there's three. <laughs> I think the soap was extra. Okay, I was thinking maybe they changed it up a bit. All right, so this is very cool that this is included. That is a wreath hanger, so it hangs on your door. So I had trouble finding mine, so that's perfect. And let's go with this item. This is the mistletoe. And isn't that gorgeous? 
So it is in this metal um, ornament-like ball, but they've decorated the top, the center, and then the mistletoe hanging. If I hold it back here a little bit, then you can see the whole thing at once. Put it back on the chair. That is beautiful. I don't normally hang mistletoe. I have never bought it or had or had something like this. So I'm going to figure out where I can put that in the house. Awesome. And then this, maybe this is the ornament. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this is one of those like wood, wood cut out pieces. Oh, how cute. Ooh, he's a very whimsical Santa. Look at that. That is hand painted. Look at the texture that's added into the beard. That is so cute. And I love the little whimsy paint lines. That and the, I don't know, is it the nose that's making it so whimsy? Whimsical, whimsy? Whatever it is, I love it. That is an awesome ornament. You guys should have signed the back. That would have been fun. That's very cool. I might put like the date on the back, just a little pen on the bottom to know when I got it as part of this package. This is adorable. <laughs> I really love this. I love everything. Oh, okay. And we've got the last package that looks like it's shaped like ears. And I can already see, oh my goodness. Oh, this is fun. Ah, I love how people are so creative with ears. This is so fun. It is cookie cutter ears. Look at that. Ah, it's a gingerbread. Let's do it here. I don't know how I can show you this best. I should have got something to block the background. But that is such a fun, colorful bow. We'll just fluff it up a tiny bit there. And the gingerbread ears made out of cookie cutters. That's awesome. How creative. What a fun idea. Oh, you don't get a good view with all my stuff behind me because they are hollow, but oh my goodness, I love that. How fun. And and that's a great idea that, wow, I can go do, now you got my wheels spinning on ear making. Okay, that was awesome. Um, Jake and Karen's decor box. Great deal, great value. I can make some of the stuff, like I'm a crafter, but I just wanted it taken out of my hands and see what they, then they did way better than I could ever do. Um, that wreath is amazing. The, I love the, the hand painting, the sign. Let me know what your favorite thing was from this box. These guys, the holly. I'm not even including the soap and the candy. That was extra, so that's fun. The ears or the wreath. Thank you, Jake, so much um, for letting me know about this, letting me participate and purchase a box. I'm so glad I did. Mm, this was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Great job. You guys are doing a great job, and I love the, the crafter family thing. So, all right, so before we finish, I'm gonna grab a couple of the um, cards from our card swap. I'm gonna go a little bit faster and do three today because I'm running out of time. And this one was kind of beat up, but it also feels like it has something else inside besides a card. Ooh, this is pretty. I love the, oh, oh, it fell right out. I'll show you that in a sec. Happy holidays. And this is from Becky from My Five Star, Five Star Life. This is so fun because this is another new to me channel that I get to meet and get to interact with. So that's super fun. It says Sandra, may this beautiful season fill you with feelings of wonder and quiet joys. Hope this season is full of love, laughter, and joy. Love Becky from My Five Star Life. Awesome. I just did a really cute, um, ribbon display for my, um, uh-oh, 
I just broke a piece off this, but it's super cute still. It's a little ornament. I love that, that she included in the package, which is why the um, male folks roughed it up. All right, we're gonna do another one. Thank you for that, Becky. That was a beautiful card and really cute ornament. Oh, look at this. How randomly crazy is that? That is the same card as was in Jake's box. There are only so many Disney cards out there, but I love it. I'm gonna keep one down in my office and put one up in my card display. Wishing you happiness to share at Christmas and all through the year. Have a magical Christmas and an incredible new year. This is from Tiff and her channel is A Little Dose of Magic. Thank you, Tiff. I loved it the first time and I love it again. And the next card, last card for today. This one, I don't know who it's from, but I have a, oh my goodness. <laughs> I have a, um, I kind of figured from, it didn't have a return address, but it had that postmark of the city. Oh fudge, look at that guy from Christmas Story. That's so fun. Woo! Uh, Sandra, I triple dog dare you to have the best Christmas ever. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to do it. I'm so blessed to call you friend. Aw, thank you, Ginger. Look forward to an awesome 2023. Maybe then we can start a crafty, start crafting and stop talking. <laughs> LOL, Ginger. This is from Just Ginger. This is her card and her channel is Just Ginger. Um, that's awesome. I love that card. That's so fun. And we have developed a fun friendship. We're going to do some crafting together as well. Stay tuned. Something special is coming up. Last thing, let's open some pins real quick. So in the advent calendar, you're seeing this on the 16th. So I'm going to open the 15th, yesterday's, and the 16th. And I'll put them in order. Let's do the 15th first. As you guys know, this is filled with mystery pins that are all open edition. Where did my scissors go? And we're going to open the first one. These videos keep getting long. Ooh, this one feels like a twofer. There's two pins in here. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so these are the Muppets. Oh, gosh, I don't know these guys' name. It's been so, so long. But they have the little lab and beaker. Is this guy beaker? And... I don't have it. I don't know the names. And obviously I can't prepare for this one. I can't, it's not like a mystery box that I know the outside of the box to see what I got. Message me down below the name of this guy. I'm pretty sure this is Beaker. Cute, cute. And I love a twofer. And then the last one, I can't wait. I gotta go take all my decorations and go put them up. Okay. Bam. Ooh, Haunted Mansion. Okay. That is a very cool pin, but it will go in the trader pile. I am not a Haunted Mansion fan. All right. This was so fun. Like Christmas, at Christmas time, um, opening all this stuff, some fun candy and soap to have, and all these great decorations, which I'm going to go put up right now, and my fun pins, and of course, blessed to have all the beautiful cards and the new friends that go along with them. So that's it for today. Merry Christmas, and I will see you on the next one.